I want to thank the National Council on Aging for this invitation to speak to you, and I want to commend and salute the work of NCOA in doing everything you can year in and year out to help our seniors, but especially at this time when we're facing the worst public health crisis in more than a century. The good news for seniors is that NCOA has responded by making sure that you're strong advocates, especially in Washington. It's one reason why there's $1 billion more to help seniors in both the CARES Act and the Families First Act. But much more, much more has to be done. The White House has to do more, the administration has to do more, and the Congress has to do more. I don't want to hear anyone in Washington saying that we're done legislating, dealing with the public health and economic crisis, uh, or that we're done appropriating dollars. We have a long way to go, and we have to be responsive, the Congress and the administration. We've got to do a couple things to help our seniors. We need to have more uh, opportunities for groceries to be delivered for food insecure seniors. We don't have a national network to do that, unfortunately. And there's a lot more work to be done. And the Congress has to respond to that food insecurity challenge all throughout our nation. Certainly, we have to be uh, responsive to and have a strategy, uh, a plan to deal with what's happened in our nursing homes. Too many of our aging loved ones in long-term care settings have contracted the virus and have in fact died. Tens and tens of thousands have died in our long-term care settings. We have to do more. We have to do more to fund strategies at work like cohorting and surging medical teams for nursing homes and make sure that there's transparency about what's happening there. There's no question that more seniors need access to services in their homes. And that, as well as the long-term care setting, means more personal protective equipment for the workers. We've got to make sure that workers in both settings, the home or the residential setting, uh, have personal protective equipment and lots, lots more testing. So we have a long way to go. More dollars to appropriate, more strategies to help our seniors. But none of this will happen unless we have your voice, unless we have your help. And that means making sure that you stay in the business of contacting leaders and members of both houses and both parties in Washington to make sure we have the needed resources. We don't have the resources currently right now to do what I've just outlined and to do even more. We have to, we have to appropriate more and we have to legislate more. And we need your help. We need your strong, determined voice. So I look forward to working with you to help our seniors through this crisis and on any other priority that you have. God bless your work. Thanks for being so good to our seniors and our aging loved ones in our families.